to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss the second graph traversal technique that is depth first search technique. Already we have discussed breadth first search technique. Now this is the second technique that is depth first search technique. In short, we will tell it as DFS technique, depth first search. DFS is a method of traversing the graph by visiting each node deeper into the graph. In breadth first search technique, breadth wise we will search. That is level wise we will search and find the unvisited vertex and visit those vertices first. Okay. But in DFS technique, we need to traverse the graph by visiting each node deeper and deeper into the graph in a systematic manner. And if you are considering the design steps in the sense, for the given graph, initially we need to pick one vertex as the source vertex or starting vertex and mark it as visited. So for this given graph, I will consider A as the source vertex or starting vertex and mark A as visited. Next, algorithm proceeds to unvisited vertex adjacent to the source vertex and mark it as visited. So unvisited vertex adjacent to the source vertex if you are considering B and D. Both is adjacent to A. Okay. In breadth first search traversal, first we will visit B and then we will visit D. We will consider in alphabetical order. But here what we will do it in the sense, if there are several adjacent vertices, always break the tie by alphabetical order. So alphabetical order if you are considering B comes first. So next we will visit vertex B. Okay. Next, the algorithm picks the next unvisited vertex adjacent to the currently visited vertex. So currently visited vertex is nothing but B, right? So algorithm will identify the next unvisited vertex to the currently visited vertex B. So which is our adjacent unvisited vertex to B? It is C. Next, we will visit C. Next, algorithm will find the next unvisited vertex adjacent to the currently visited vertex. So every step it will consider only one unvisited vertex and it will mark it as visited. Okay. So likewise the procedure continues. So now the adjacent unvisited vertex to C is nothing but D. Now we will visit D. So this is the DFS traversal output for this given graph. Okay. But BFS traversal output what we will do? First we will visit vertex A. Then we will visit vertex B and then D. So adjacent unvisited vertices one by one we will visit first. Right. So adjacent unvisited vertex to the currently visited vertex. One by one we will visit. First we will visit B and then we will visit D. Right. And then we will consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to B after completing A. Then we will identify adjacent unvisited vertex to B. That is C we will identify. This is the traversal output for BFS and this is the traversal output for DFS. Okay. Can you understand the difference? Breadth wise the graph will traverse and visit the unvisited vertex in BFS traversal. But in DFS traversal depth wise it will identify and it will visit the unvisited vertices. Okay. This is the main difference between breadth first search and depth first search technique. So every step it will find the adjacent unvisited vertex. Only one vertex it will identify. So adjacent unvisited vertex to the currently visited vertex and algorithm continues to search deeper and deeper into the graph to find the unvisited vertex adjacent to currently visited vertex on each iteration and then it will mark it as visited. Then the algorithm will stop once it visits all the vertices in the given graph. Suppose if any universal vertices remains in the sense this DFS method will start restart again and the same procedure will continue. So this is the design step to implement DFS search technique. And in DFS technique, the convenient data structure to trace the operations of DFS search traversal is stack data structure. In BFS traversal, we will use Q data structure. And what are all the operations of stack data structure? Push and pop operation. So when we will push the vertex into the stack in the sense, whenever you are reaching the vertex first time in the sense, that vertex we need to push it into the stack and when we have visited the vertex we have considered all its adjacent vertices and when it has been reached the dead end in the sense we need to pop that vertex from the stack 
So first time if you are identifying the vertex in the sense push it into the stack and all the operations on that particular vertex is completed and once it reaches the dead end in the sense pop the vertex from the stack. So these two operations we will implement in DFS search method okay and the data structure we will use here is stack data structure and what are all the concepts related to depth first search technique in the sense one is depth first search forest. So it is nothing but one is depth first search forest. The depth first search technique we will implement by considering the depth first search forest. So what do you mean by forest in the sense forest is a undirected disconnected acyclic graph and this forest we will construct using the depth first search method okay and the traversal starting vertex will serve as the root of the first tree in such forest. And tree age, if you are considering in the sense, when a new unvisited vertex is reached for the first time, it is attached as a child vertex to the currently visited vertex. That is called tree age. So, if you are visiting A in the sense, when the unvisited vertex is reached for the first time, that is B we have reached for the first time in the sense, that is attached as a child to this vertex. This is called tree age. And a back edge is nothing but when an already visited vertex is reached from the current vertex and if it is not the immediate predecessor in the sense that is called back edge. So for example in the given graph that is A, B, C and D there is an edge from A to D but this is not an immediate predecessor that will be represented as a dotted line and this is called back edge and this is called tree edge. When a newly visited vertex is reached for the first time in the sense that will be attached as a child vertex to the previous vertex, currently visited vertex. This is called tree age. When an already visited vertex, this is an already visited vertex, if it is reached from the current vertex and that is not the immediate predecessor in the sense that is called back age. For example, here if it is represented in dotted line in the sense that is called back age. So these are all the concepts we will use in depth per search technique. So this is all about introduction to depth first search technique. In the next session, we will discuss an example to implement depth first search technique using this design steps. Thank you for watching this video. 